Hi everyone, welcome back. This is a part 4 of the Sansui AU1900 restoration project. In today's video, we are focusing on power supply boards. Um, okay, let's start with this, which is the regulator power supply. Uh, here I did replace all the electrolytic caps, power transistors, and this is small transistors as well. Uh, pretty much same thing on the power supply uh, for driver amp board. Um, so if you are interested, uh, please stay tuned. This amp is one of the easiest to work on, uh, only one screw holding this board, um, but make sure to remove the connector from underneath before lifting it. If you watch my previous videos, uh, this is nothing new. Uh, obviously, I always draw the board layout, basically taking notes of the components are coming out. Uh, you know, I mark their positions, values, and the orientation. Uh, for me, this is easier than taking a lot of pictures. But you can do both and take one or two pictures and draw the layout. I think it's much easier. Okay, let's start replacing all the caps uh, first. Obviously, you have to remove this nasty glue. Sadly, this was very common back in the day. And um, um, just use this sharp cutter uh, and uh, take bit by bit. Um, and that's it. I use high voltage rating capacitors for some replacement because they don't produce anymore uh, with that small values. Uh, here you can see the original one was rated at 6.3 volt, uh, but I use uh, 10 to replace with. Uh, that's okay, you know, it's not big difference, uh, right? Uh, sometimes I use what I have in stock as well. You know, for instance, I replace one of the 80 volt uh, with uh, 100. As far as I'm aware, that's fine too, you know, but I don't go crazy like use 100 volt uh, to replace 10 right uh, but I always match the actual capacitance uh, that always the same right Okay, next thing on the list is to replace these uh, two SA726 uh, small transistors, which are located uh, here and here. Um, you know, they have bad reputation, right? Uh, like goes noisy. Uh, it, it, it's best to replace, especially on the audio part. Here it's not the case, but uh, I'm gonna do it uh, anyway. Uh, so the best replacement available today is the KSA992. Again, because I'm changing the PNP, uh, I'm also going to change their complementary version, which is the 2SC1313, uh, which are located uh, here in view, right? Um, recommendation again for 2SC1313 is the KSC1845. Um, By the way, quite important remark, uh, the orientation of the new transistors pinout is different to the original ones, right? Um, so if you look at the data sheet, you see the leads are in a different order. For 726 and 1313, it goes from base collector emitter. But um, 992 and the 1845 is the other way around. Emitter, collector, base, right? Basically, all you have to do is install them in opposite direction. Um, hope that's clear enough. Uh, otherwise, please watch my part three where I explain more in detail.
let's put it under the dim bulb tester and test it and maybe listen to it uh, to check whether I made anything wrong and continue the rest of the board right and okay the bulb dimmed as expected um, so let's continue okay almost there the next step will be replacing these two power transistors two SP526 and two SD356 um, I don't think anything wrong with them but you know they've been working quite hard close to 50 years now uh, the new one can handle more current and dissipate more heat as well. So uh, two SB526 will be replaced with MJE15033 g to be precise and the two SD356 will be replaced with MJE15032 g Both have same pin order so it goes straight in uh, hassle free. Okay, power supply for driver amp. Uh, there are different variations of this board. For instance, um, models built in 1975 have the F2567 board. I believe the models uh, were built after 76, like uh, mine here, uh, called the F2583, uh, which I believe the latest. Um, but anyway, uh, let's crack on. Okay, first let's turn the unit to remove the regulator power supply board, uh, the one we just recapped, um, and the Fono board as well. Actually, this also provides um, power to some of the preamp sections, uh, and the connector sits behind the Fono board. That's why we need to remove that uh, Fono board as well. Um, I always take notes of wiring, you know, before removing them. Uh, even though Sansu did a great job here. Uh, you know use of different colors and uh, you know clear marking on the print uh, on the board, but nothing wrong taking some extra precautions, right? Um, I Hate to do this, but uh, some of the original cable ties have to be cut sadly um, And this guys as well There you go, uh, you got much more flexibility now uh, to work on Okay, last thing is to replace power transistors. Um, actually, when I recapped, uh, I did not have them with me 
so I had to order them and wait for a couple of days uh, so and during that time I put everything back and now I don't really want to go back again and uh, go through the whole process uh, that's why you see me going over the top uh, which is doable you know which I did in the past uh, when I replaced a uh, speaker protection relay only downside is it's very time consuming because it's very narrow uh, there's not much room to work on uh, this is where you would save a lot of time uh, with the good quality desoldering gun uh, would have been a uh, five minutes job but I don't have it guys I had cheap electric pump though um, only used once uh, funny enough uh, and caused more damage to the board like taking out tracks uh, so I stopped using it um, I use this manual pump now you know combination of uh, solder wicks that's the job you know I rather spend time here and mess with the board later so same mantra as the regulator power supply board uh, we use the same um, power transistors to replace old ones so um, yeah MJE 1533 uh, and MJE 1502 uh, right um, and again same pin order so just install them as the original ones right Right then, uh, guys, that's it for this video. Um, next one is about the preamp restoration. Please stay tuned. I hope this was useful. As always, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button uh, to help to grow this channel. Um, until then, goodbye.